something will happen here this evening. Something. Something. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, I am. Hey, I Find the number two, two. Face to face. My altar is called calling you. All this prayer you are praying, you want it to be in vain. No, 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 no. We will need to summon response from heaven. If it is true that our priesthood has power with him that resides upon the throne that is in the heavens, then we will come upon the response this evening. Oh, something will happen when men give themselves to priesthood. That's what it is. My altar is calling you. <laughs> my secret place. Somebody cry in the next five minutes and say, Oh God, my voice has ha, 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 has superior interface in your realm. Daddy, Kabola, Kasabe, Sapata Kumbra, Katota, 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 Perosa, perosa, 
Holy Cross. He had water. He had water. He had water. Hey, 
fire from your presence touch my body. <laughs> Let the fire, fire from your presence touch my body. Let the fire from your presence touch my body. My altar is calling you. My altar, my altar, my altar. My altar, my altar, my altar. My altar. Hey! Pero soso, pata. Pero soso. Parece se debe. Pira, pacaba. Borra na hasa tali. Pero kubaba da hasala. Pero. Definitely the earth we hear. We are sure. Oh, speak from the heaven. <laughs> hey. If you speak from the heaven, so patale kopambela kwa. Oh, speak from the heaven. No more rosat. Who speak from the heaven? Who speak from the heaven? Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's the move of the spirit. It's the move of God. Hey, uh, hey, uh, oh, Rosa, Panta, Papa, Hata, Hene, Kumbra. You will not remain the same. You can't remain the same. You will remain the same. The hand of God will come upon your life. And even your body will begin to respond to the move of the Holy Ghost. Tangibilities of God palpitations as a testimony for the fact that he touched the mortal realms. Bring us all blessings in your car that our voices will be loud and clear. That you will receive thereby the authority to begin to legislate your counsel upon the territory.
man that doesn't have a strong altar, doesn't have a voice. All you have is just an echo. You just make noise if you don't have an altar. In the high places of the earth, men speak with the voice of their altar. How strong is your altar? My altar is God calling you. We want to have power with you, oh God. Oh God. We want to have power with you. Kasuta, Rebe Kumbata Hatale, Kupane, Kupane La Kapata, that we will bring discipline upon the chaos that is finding expression in our generation, that we will have the capacity to bring order, that we will have the capacity to legislate the dictates of the kingdom, the power to subdue even the wretchedness that is expressed, marooned in the territory without any restraint. The demons, beast of recklessness, receive power with you that we will bring forth your kingdom. This is what we seek, O God. An altar that burns with a vengeance so strong that the voice is loud, even in the high places. High places. High places. Plant our feet again. In the high places of the earth, plant our feet and fill our our mouth with words. Hey, hey, I am drunk in the spirit now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>
You can be seated if, if you can. There are high places in the earth and in the universe. In those places. Sacrifices are being offered. The strength of the oppression that is found in those realms. Is a testimony to the strength of the altar that powers their oppression. Every high place you see in the earth. Every high place you see in the universe. Is a testimony to a fact that there is a priesthood eh, that offers sacrifices upon altars and on the strength of that altar the high places are being erected in the spirit and it is from there that government is brought upon territories everybody that finds himself under that place is under the influence of the government that is brought about by the high places that rules the territory it does not matter what you think. It does not matter what you want. The high places navigate the desires. It is from thence that the civilization that governs the oppressions of the realm is being instigated. Every man that finds himself in that locality begins to operate by that civilization. Whether you know or not, you are subject. Until God grants us power by the reason of our priesthood. And then we arise on the wings of the spirit and find ourselves in those high places contending for government. If our feet indeed is planted in those places and then we begin to offer sacrifices. And then our priesthood begins to gain strength and power. A time we come from your altar, you will begin to legislate. It will be true that even though you are sitting physically with men, that your feet is planted in heavenly places the decrease from your altar begins to have effect in the territory because where you are sitting according to the mortal realm is seen as the high places that's where we are rule from the scripture talk about a king and he said that this king did not follow the word of Jeroboam but he said he still left the high places of power as long as the high places of Baal is still around, then the, the rule that we think we have, we don't have it indeed. Because that civilization that is born out of those high places, we still continue to navigate the desires of men. They will make projections and men will become subject to them. Because that is where the decrees that govern the territory begins to find expression. It is true that we lay hold on God and then have power with Him. And then he begins to give us stones in places where we can see that our world is with power. And we will bring government by the transformation that is in our soul. And by the alignment that we have gained according to what we are passing that God wants to do in our time in our generation. We will not sit and see Satan cover the... No! My altar will cry!